Hi, Mike here. Welcome to Paz Model Workbench. As you can see, it's almost 6.30 on Sunday, July 31st, and I've completed my 48-hour build. Um, so, um, let me get the camera set up and show you what I got. First of all, I want to thank Craig over at Mutt Modeler for hosting this again this year. Um, this is the first year I did it, and I really enjoyed it. Not only the build itself, but uh, seeing what everybody else was doing and uh, commenting on their stuff as well. It was a lot of fun, and I'll definitely do it again next year if I uh, if we do it. And uh, I have a few sl uh, pictures I'll put up at the end after this just to show you, not really build pictures, but show it somewhat disassembled so you can at least see the chassis and uh, engine a little better. Because I did end up gluing on the the two body halves gluing them together because the top half doesn't sit very well if you just leave it sitting on there it uh, doesn't look very good and since this is just going to be on the shelf i decided to go ahead and glue them together um i didn't use the decals on this because honestly i just didn't like them they're uh just i did the tie-dye look or psychedelic paint or whatever it is i didn't care for and the other two that they give you uh, for this model. The colors weren't right for this dark blue, so uh, I just decided to do it without them. It's really more of a, of a show dragster than a um, competition dragster anyway, I think, the way it's laid out. So uh, anyway, this is it. Like I said, I'll have some pictures after this to show it a little bit better. I originally was going to put the blue windshield in. It comes with a blue tinted, an orange tinted, and a clear windshield. I was originally going to put this blue one in, but it didn't really match the blue very well, and um, it obscured even more of the engine detail, which you can't really see too well as it is through the clear one. But uh, yeah, you can see a little bit. So, like I said, with the slides, I think maybe you'll see the engine. It's a nice, nicely detailed kit. The, uh, the chassis is uh, delicate and nice looking, and the engine uh, could be detailed out very nicely. It's a nice looking engine. Uh, you know, with some wiring and whatnot, it would uh, turn into a pretty nice engine. Um, this might be a nice kit to do as a on a diorama base where you'd have the uh, engine piece or the uh, body pieces off and maybe a couple of guys working on the engine or something that'd look pretty cool but uh anyway that's what i have um and uh again i want to thank craig for hosting this sorry about all the movement and uh, now it's time to get back to the big rig and see if i can get that done before i'm too many months uh past the deadline and i think i'll also start uh, working on the uh shop truck group build because uh it's not due till the end of the year but uh the end of the year is getting here a lot quicker than than i would have thought so anyway i uh, want to thank you for watching i really appreciate you guys watching and commenting and uh, i thank all my subscribers uh, it's a lot of fun building these kits but it's even more fun when you have somebody to show them to so thanks again and uh, I'll get back with an update on the big rig uh, fairly soon. Bye.